I think initially, though, it you know because of that closeness, that relationship that you have with your mum, um, and I'm the uh, the oldest living daughter, and so after my dad passed away, um, I you know became my mum's right hand anyway because she still had three younger ones, and um, so it became this thing of really about me having my first child, and then seeing my mum outside the window, because in those days, back in 66, your mum was not allowed into the hospital. Um, no one for three days. Uh, you know, you might bring in a germ, hello, you know. But we've progressed since then. But I remember seeing my mum looking through the window and she was smiling and she was so proud and I just thought, I'm going to go looking for your mum and mm -hmm. I hope I can find her. How can you give birth to a child and not have your own mother present? So Yeah. So, so I think that resonated, the film resonated absolutely. in that way with you. Yeah, because, yes. you know, Charlie's Tom, uh, his mum had passed away and, uh, yeah, there was all this thing about separation and having a reunion and then having to let go again. Yeah. My mum was uh, a separated child um, and I think that was the first thing that drew me to the film. But I think it was also about the disease of autism and people not understanding it then. Um, and there's been a lot of research since then. Um, and I think the fact that, um, you know, inevitably love uh, can overturn greed. Love triumphs. I think so.